subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is modifications of leaves of the chapter morphology of flowering plants leaves get modified to perform various functions besides photosynthesis first leaf tendril now in this the leaf gets modified into a thin spirally coil structure that coils around the support helping the plant to climb so tendrils are thin spirally coil structures either the complete leaf is modified into a tendril as seen in case of this figure example of which is wild pea or the leaflets get modified into tendrils or the spirally coil structures seen in case of sweet pea and garden pea sweet pea is lathyrus odoratus while garden pea is pisum sativum leaf tendrils are characteristics of family fabaceae next leaf spines now in this the complete leaf or any part of the leaf get modified into thin pointed structures in case of opuntia that is cactus the complete leaf gets modified into spine as seen in this figure these are the leaf that get modified into spines they reduce transpiration and they even protect the plant from grazing animals while in this case we can see this is argimon that is prickly poppy in which the leaf margin gets modified into spines now these are the leaf margins that get modified into the spine protecting the plant from grazing animals next leaf pitcher the complete leaf or a part of leaf gets modified into a pitcher like structure like in case of nepenthes that is pitcher plant it is an insectivorous plant in which the lamina gets modified into a pitcher like structure that traps insects while in case of this chidia which is a epiphyte means it is a plant that growing on branches of trees the leaf get modified into a pitcher to store water next is leaf bladder seen in case of utricularia commonly known as bladder wort this too is an insectivorous plant in this the leaflets get modified into a bladder like structure that helps to trap insects you can see this in the diagram next is phyllod in phyllod it is the petiole that gets expanded forming a lamina like structure that carries out photosynthesis now see this is seen in some species of australian acacia 
they have normal pinnately compound leaves petiole of some leaves and the rachis they get expanded forming a lamina like structure called phyllode which carries out photosynthesis so example of phyllode is australian acacia next leaf hook in some plants the leaflets of a compound leaf they get modified into a hook like structure that helps the plant to climb by clinging to support the leaflets get modified into a hook like structure which helps the plant to climb it just appears like the cat's nail so the best example of this is cat's nail that is bignonia angus catti and last fleshy leaves in some xerophytic plants the leaves become thick fleshy storing water mucilage and even food example of which is this is aloe this is agave and even in onion in the onion bulb fleshy leaves are seen so in family fabaceae leaf tendrils are seen while in family liliaceae spines can be seen as in asparagus tendrils can be seen example gloriosa fleshy leaves can be seen in case of aloe onion and garlic that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching